You know what? We all make mistakes. Second chance, I hope. I've been a good guy. As disgraced movie mogul Harvey Weinstein half-asses his way through sex addiction rehab, more and more women, ranging from Oscar winner Lupita Nyong'o to former teen star Molly Ringwald, keep coming forward with stories about his abusive and sometimes criminal behavior. Even his brother and longtime business partner Bob Weinstein has disowned him, calling him indefensible, crazy, and remorseless. But the Weinstein story is not just about the end of a career, it's about the end of an era. The Miramax co-founder is only the latest in a long line of powerful older men whose professional lives have ended with revelations of long-term harassment and worse. Fox News cashiered its founder, Roger Ailes, and star host Bill O'Reilly because of similar charges. And Bill Cosby's 2014 comeback was destroyed after claims surfaced that he drugged and raped over a dozen women. The head of Amazon Studios was forced to resign last week after he was accused of repeatedly and insistently propositioning the producer of the streaming service's acclaimed series, The Man in the High Castle. Weinstein was widely and rightly derided for blaming his decades-long behavior on having come of age in the 1960s and 70s, he said, when all the rules about behavior and workplaces were different. Why don't you let me tape you? Doing what? Talking. About what? About sex. Among other things, such a defense ignores the inconvenient fact that the 70s ended nearly four decades ago. Today in the press and on the radio, the American career girl, married or single, is a favorite subject for discussion. But he is right that workplace expectations have changed. And that's largely because the workplace itself has changed. About 60% of women are in the workforce, compared to just 43% in 1970. In fact, more than half of all management, professional, and related positions are held by women. The pay gap has also essentially vanished. A study of 33 countries, including the United States, found that when comparing workers doing the same job, men made just 1.6% more than women. As I travel the world and represent our company, I listen a lot. With higher pay, positions, and status comes more workplace power. My name is Victoria Valentino, and I met Bill Cosby in 1969. I was a folk singer I'm and Louisa actress, Moritz. and after my well, son died, it was Mr. very Cosby. difficult my name for is me Joyce to go into this. Power that is amplified by social media and other technologies that empower dissent and make it harder and harder to maintain a sexist status quo. He won the Heisman Trophy with his DNA rape kit. There's a real issue that in the aftermath of the Harvey Weinstein revelations, behavior that is merely boorish or one-time only will be conflated with systemic sexism and far more reprehensible crimes. But surely it's more than coincidence that the Weinstein scandal broke just after Hugh Hefner, the absolute personification of old-school pre-equality male sexual identity, was being lowered into the ground. The old days and the old ways are being laid to rest. And that's a very good thing for all of us, regardless of gender.